Firefox has a great debugger. When you open it up, you get a pane here on the left, listing your source files, a code viewer in the middle, and some toolbars on the right. I can select a source, add a breakpoint, then reload the page. When the program hits my breakpoint, it stops and I can start poking around. I can see the call stack and all the variables in scope. Now when minimized JavaScript became big a few years ago, we added support for source maps. The minimization process rewrites JavaScript files to be smaller, then combines multiple files into one output file. Source maps contain extra information to help the debugger reverse the minimization process. The Firefox debugger has worked well for a while, but the world is changing. Today, lots of people use frameworks and toolchain to do more than minimize. If you load up a web app built with React and Babel, you can still use breakpoints, but the symbols look like nonsense now. They don't provide any useful information. All of this extra junk. And just look at the call stack. All of these extra functions are a part of React. I don't want to debug those, I just want to see the code for my app. All of this junk is because the new JavaScript tools don't just minimize. They also translate and optimize the raw code into something that looks nothing like the original source. The symbol names are mangled, and the compilers add extra information to support the frameworks. Firefox 61 will fix this problem. We're updating the source map functionality to let the debugger fully reverse the compilation process. Now when I use a breakpoint, the debugger will give me useful information. I can read the symbols again. The extra junk is gone. The debugger now recognizes React code and hides the unnecessary parts of the call stack. I can even hover over a variable to see its current value. For a framework like React with lots of state objects, this fe feature is really valuable. We're working with the top JavaScript frameworks to update their source map support for these new features. We even hired Logan Smith, one of the lead Babel developers, to make sure it's done right. With Firefox 61, you'll be able to debug your web apps even better than ever. Go check it out now by downloading the latest beta of Firefox 61.